is here. And now we get to know a bit better the incredible pieces that were donated by Sixus IV in 1471. We have two pieces in this room, okay? Uh, this is the very first one and is made in bronze. First of all, why are these pieces so important? For two reasons. Because they're made in bronze and because they're old, obviously. What makes bronze so special? Bronze is made special by the fact that finding original ancient Roman bronze statues is almost impossible. Remember when Constantine was already recycling, reusing previous materials to build new stuff? That tradition continued along all the Middle Ages. That's because it was better, fastest, cheaper. Bronze in particular had an enormous value. It was expensive, but it was easy to be recycled because it could simply be melted and reused for whatever else was needed. So the bronze is gone. And that's why having these four pieces that were kept safe by the papacy is so important to us. This is the first one. This young boy here is called the Spinario, the boy pulling out the thorn. Um, it's an incredible piece and uh, the dating is very confusing and complicated, but again, uh, we're talking about something that is very old because all this statue is nothing but kind of a mix up of different uh, Greek models. That's another thing that makes Roman sculpture so important. So now, Adi, wait a second, what are you talking about? Roman sculpture, bronze, Greece, what's going on here? Well, from now on, every time we're looking at a beautiful statue, we know it's Roman, but we also know that it has been copied or inspired by Greek art. That's because the moment Greece became part of the Roman Empire, uh, Greek art, Greek artists were flowing to the city of Rome and with their tradition, they were kind of influencing everything there. Greek art was considered by Romans as the, like, the top. It was the most beautiful and perfect art ever produced. So they wanted to use their models, but they were doing it their own way, and we'll see it uh, along the way. Um, we have two different theories about the statue. The body is probably from models that dates back to the third century BC. I'm talking about 2200 years ago. Well, the head is a bit more recent from the first century we see, but now we, we're gonna look to a detail. This is the beautiful head of the Spinario. Imagine something that is more than 2000 years old, made with such a perfection. Look at the curls, look at the expression. See some red on the lips. You see the red lips here? Well, there's another thing I have to tell you. When you look at ancient sculptures, ancient monuments, you think they were like pale bronze, pale marble, they were not. Everything was absolutely and massively colored. 